I'm Jay Chugstein and we're down here looking for beavers. Now if you're a beaver, there's only one thing on your mind and that's wood. If you watch a beaver all day long, they're just looking for wood. Now the crazy thing about beavers is they actually are pretty well wet all the time. If you look at them, they've got like a waterproof kind of fur on them and uh, you'll find them pretty well only in the water. You'll see them underwater swimming, you'll see them above water just nibbling on things. And uh, you know another crazy fact actually I just thought of is when beavers get scared, you'll see that they slap their tail against the water. It's a warning sign to let the other beavers know they mean business and there's a bad guy in the area. Anyways, let's see what we can find out here. We're on the prowl today, let's go find some beavers. Check out this little creepy crawly. This guy's called an antlion, and he builds a little tunnel in the ground. When bugs fall in there, he grabs them from in the sand and eats them underneath the earth. Later on, he's gonna turn into something with wings and fly away, but right now, he lives in the ground. Did you see the way he ate that ant? Just sucked them right in. Crazy stuff. I'm gonna let this little guy go. He's gonna build another little funnel in the ground and catch some more food. Really don't like picking up these. Now, this guy here is a water snake. You can tell because he's all black and he's kind of got some stripes on him. They like to hang out near the edges of marshes and swamps and he, uh, he wants to bite me. That's normal. I would want to bite me too if I was picked up. Let's see if we can get a closer look at this guy. Look at that little fella, huh? He's pretty excited to be caught. I would too if I was on, on the prowl with Jay Chugstein. Whew. Now this little guy's not that big. These guys can get a lot bigger. If you see one, I wouldn't pick it up. You might get bit and there might be some bacteria. They're not poisonous, but still a creepy little guy. Stick to the garter snakes if you're gonna pick one up. Whew, look at him. We're gonna say bye to little sassy snake here. We're gonna let him go back into the water and you get to see what a water snake does. There he goes. Holy cow, did you see that water snake chewing on that catfish? That's what I was saying earlier. These water snakes, they'll nibble on anything they can find out there. And this time it was a catfish. Wow. Now this is quite the little flower we just stumbled upon. This is called the yellow lady slipper and it's not the kind that Cinderella was missing. This little fella, that's an orchid, and you can find those all over Ontario, but they're pretty tricky to spot. If you stumble upon one of these, take a look inside, but you won't find a foot inside this slipper. Look at that dragonfly. Who doesn't love a dragonfly, right? 
they just rip around they're eating all the little bugs that are bugging us in the summertime and boy do they look cool it's like they're a helicopter dragonflies can fly in any direction up down backwards even and look at that helmet he's wearing those are his eyeballs Hey little buddy, you're not a real dragon are ya? See you later. Uh, uh, chuggy no likey. Chuggy no likey. <laughs> this one's called lamb's ear and it's soft as a baby's bottom if you're ever strapped for toilet paper in the forest I'd be using lamb's ear on my tushy Look at this little inchworm. These guys spin a little web and dangle from the trees and they're about an inch long. I'm no expert with measurement, but I'd say he's about three centimeters as well. <laughs> wow, now that's a rare find. This little guy right here, let's just open him up. That's called the jack in the pulpit, or bog onion. And these guys are extremely toxic. If you eat that, game over. You can look at them, never touch them, and definitely don't eat them. We're gonna leave this little guy alone because he is not good for us to be around. Well, we had a lot of fun here today, didn't we guys? We got to see some snakes, we got to see some bugs, and even some crazy plants. But I'm thinking maybe I'm going to head to bed now. Thanks for coming by. Keep on chugging.